Two of the newer and more interesting washer brands are Electrolux and GE. Electrolux has only been manufacturing front load washers in the last 15 years. Higher, the new owner of GE, dramatically changed GE's laundry three years ago. Both have unique features and cool euphemisms like Smart Boost and Odor Block. In this video, you'll learn the pros and cons of both. I've chosen the best washer from each manufacturer. First, let's talk about what they have in common because they both have similar features worth considering. Then you'll learn the differences. Both have more than enough cycles. GE has 12 and Electrolux has 10. We'll review some of the better ones. Having a 1300 RPM is fast by industry standards. Clothes are almost dry out of the washer for less time in the dryer. As a comparison, Whirlpool has 1000 RPM in their front load washers. Top load washers typically spin much slower at an average of 750 RPM. Hard to believe Electrolux and GE are the only washers and dryers with reversible doors. So the doors line up in every installation. Both have four-way venting for the dryer, that's huge. You can install the washer and dryer in every configuration for easily venting your dryer. Both have steam, so tougher stains like grass, blood, and wine are easily removed from your clothes. GE's larger at five cubic foot versus 4.5 for Electrolux. However, GE's washer is deeper, so that may or may not be an issue depending on the installation. Electrolux has a 15 minute wash and dry for lightly soiled fabrics versus 30 minutes each for GE. Most of the fast wash cycles have a limit on how much you can put in the washer. A 15 minute wash can only wash a small load. Only LG adds high pressure washers and their Turbo 360 short washers lower wash times with full loads. I was watching a video review on Electrolux. They mentioned antimicrobial surfaces on the gasket, yet I didn't see it on the Electrolux website as a feature. However, the door in the Electrolux can be automatically placed slightly open rather than you remembering to do it. Keeping the door open will help dry the inside of the washer, reducing the chances of mold. G, however, has microband antimicrobial surfaces on the gasket hoses and dispensers. Their odor block system is a fan to dry the inside of the washer. So for mold protection, GE is clearly the best of any washer, mostly because they directly address the problem. You can place an outfit in the GE overnight and have it washed and dried for the morning. Electrolux is the only company not to have Wi-Fi or home connectivity. For washers and dryers, having smart technology is very convenient. You can see how much time is remaining, so you don't have to trudge to your basement and watch the last four minutes and 30 seconds of a cycle. The washer will even text you when the cycle is done. This GE washer will even set the drying cycle. You can also monitor the amount of soap left in the automatic dispenser. When we sold Electrolux, their Smart Boost feature was their best attribute. With Smart Boost, the unit holds the detergent at the bottom and mixes it with water to achieve optimum results. You have a watery, soapy mix instead of mixing it later in the wash for technically a more effective clean. However, automatic dispensers do the same by releasing the right amount of detergent at the right time in the wash. You can also load up to 32 loads of detergent with G's automatic dispenser instead of reloading them each time. More importantly, you will not overfill with an automatic dispenser. Overfilling detergent is a big problem because soap stays in the machine and will cause a service problem later. G is decent at 8.16%, whereas the average appliant needs repair 9.97% of the time. Electrolyte -like washers were decent, as I remember five years ago. Their problems were in the dryer with a lint screen issue. When we stopped selling Electrolux, we serviced their dryers a disproportionate amount of time. You may want to check with appliance service in your area and talk to your local dealer about how Electrolux has proved the reliability of their dryers. Also, GE has one of the best service networks if you do run into a problem with your washer and dryer. It's a huge advantage if your store does not offer service. What's better depends on how you use your washer. If you like shorter cycles and use detergent pods, Electrolux is a better choice. Flexibility in drying vending is a plus for both brands. However, GE is a more convenient, more updated washer. You have better mold protection, Wi-Fi, and automatic detergent dispenser. Both are good, 
look at service in your area as a deciding factor. Now that you know a bit about Electrolux and GE, you can compare them to Samsung, LG, Whirlpool, and Maytag by downloading a free washer buying guide. We profile some all the brands, plus buying strategies and other tips to save you time and money. Almost one million people have read a Yale guide. Thanks for watching.